Do you think the government should break up monopolies? Depends for what reason. The information reason is kind of interesting. And I do think at a certain extent, the monolith of a company ousts any other smaller companies that can exist. Like if you get more efficient in Amazon, it, it, small business doesn't really exist. Or you have small businesses working through Amazon, then you have Amazon in control, and then you don't really have a free market that's controlled by Amazon. Well, it's a free market on the grand scale. Business can't really compete with Amazon because Amazon owns the platform and like pretty much if they don't like you, you're gone, right? Mm -hmm. So Amazon would need a direct competitor. But in order to do that, like you said, it would just need to be something more efficient than Amazon or Amazon would need to slack on something crucial that another company could just like come in and perfectly. I mean, and that has happened with like monolith companies in the past. It, but, it, I mean, it happens a lot. It, will happen with... it, it, it literally might be different now. <laughs> you know what I mean? It, it might be that these companies that are monoliths that have made their stake in, in Apple and Microsoft and Amazon, instead of dying in 20 years, like the rest of markets could persist beyond a few decades as the top of their game yeah it'll i and i think amazon's gonna be around for a while it'll definitely be a time with some technology that we can't comprehend or something that like well, what about the the twitter argument of twitter being super big but still regulating itself and who it wants on its platform is oh what do i much, think of it is that too much of a, a monopoly well no twitter's Whereas its own company can do what it wants. So if these monopolies control the country and it does what it wants, then isn't that a form of regulation just in form of a company besides of a government? Yeah, but the point is the government's not regulating it. It's the company. But at a certain point, if, if you have a huge influence as a company, yeah, can it be said that these companies are basically running the country? Like you said, a good example, project. App Store. Spotify is dying because well, it's not dying, but it's really struggling because 30% of all the revenue from the App Store has to go to Apple, which has its own competitor on the same App Store, Apple Music. So is that fair? Is it fair that the you are on your product competing with other competitors, but you're still like a separate company? Uh even though that's technically regulation, like Spotify is being regulated, Spotify isn't being regulated by the government. That's just Apple. Saying, at a certain strong. point, do the companies not just become a quasi-government? I like, think they like your bias towards the regulation is, is government and private company, right? At a certain point, if you have huge monopolies and influence over the world with internet and information and commerce, you have everything except printing money from companies. Is that not just a quasi too much regulation? Yeah, I see what you're saying. Google, Amazon, Facebook, they could be considered governments because they're so large in scale and they have their own set of regulations that they impose upon the free market at will. At will. However, consumers still have the choice to not use Facebook, right? But you don't have the choice to not like live under your government. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you could go away. Like you could leave the country, but that's, that's your only option. If I don't want to use Google or Facebook or Apple, I could just put my money elsewhere. Isn't that the same idea of picking a country? You have a free world market. Well, your American rights of freedom are only valid in America. You can't go to Africa and expect the same rights. But it's kind of the same thing as leaving Facebook as a platform for another platform leaving america's platform for a different platform yeah but it's like no nah, it's 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 way easier you know like so like say these companies have as much influence on the world as the american government or on your life as the american government <clears throat> but it's easy for me to switch easier for me to switch phones than to pack up and move across the border the company the government argument isn't really that solid of a argument <laughs> Because yes, there's a lot of other factors. But do you know what I'm saying? At, at, a, at a certain point, like you have you having companies as a monopoly have control over a lot of the citizens. 
Uh, he, yeah, absolutely. But also, here's another thing too to con- you have to consider. These companies are so big in the first place because they provide some sort of service, even if it's like exploitative, like Facebook, they provide some sort of service that like benefits the majority of people that use it. So that's so like in exchange for not being able to start a small business because of the behemoth of Amazon, lots of people get all their shit same day or the next day, you know? Mm -hmm. So it's not like Amazon just exists and overlords for no reason without giving something back. 